If you've had difficulty getting carrots to sprout from seed, then I have the heck for you coming right up. Hi, green lovers. This is Tara, and it's my desire to help inspire you to become a better gardener by sharing with you tips, tricks, and techniques that I have learned along the way. So if you haven't done so already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn and grow together. Carrots are one of those vegetables that I personally have a love-hate relationship with when it comes to getting them to grow. I mean, who does not like those beautiful feathery ferns? And yeah, look at those varieties that they come in. You can grow the rainbow, all shapes and sizes. I mean, what's not to like? But they can be pretty challenging to start from seeds. First off, they have a pretty long germination time. They take anywhere from two weeks to three weeks to germinate. The germination is often spotty. The seeds are so tiny and difficult to plant. And then on top of that, you've got to keep them consistently moist until they germinate. So that means where I live in California, I sometimes have to come out twice a day and give them a little sprinkling of water because it's so dry here and the seeds dry out very, very quickly. So let's get into this video and I'll show you this really neat trick to get carrots to sprout more consistently, more predictably and faster than they normally would. So here I've got a plate, a paper plate with some potting soil that I've moistened. I've got these Danvers long um, carrots. Now these grow to about maybe eight inches long under the right circumstances and conditions. And I'm going to be putting this in a planter so it should have good soft soil to push through. And then I've got this uh, Ziploc bag. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the carrot seeds on. I'm gonna actually sprinkle them on fairly thick because this is not gonna be their final destination. They're gonna be going into the planter and I'll have an opportunity to thin them a little bit while I'm putting it in there. So I'm gonna put um, a decent amount of seeds and I'll show them to you in just a moment. So as you can see here, I've sewn them on fairly thick and I'm gonna just gently press them into the soil. I'm not gonna cover them. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting this in the Ziploc bag zipping it up and then going to be putting it in the freezer for exactly 24 hours Now that's going to give the carrots the impression that they've gone through a cold snap and now the soil has warmed up and it's time to germinate i will check back in here in 24 hours all right so it's been 24 hours and i have taken my little plate out of the freezer with my carrot seeds you can see it's still all foggy but this one's going to be sitting in this plastic bag so hopefully it won't dry out but I will be keeping an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't get way too hot or dry out or critters don't get it or that kind of thing so that the Ziploc bag should do quite a bit to protect it. So today is October 26th and I wanted to give you a quick update on my carrot seeds and as you can see a lot of them have started growing. Eight days is actually pretty good. In fact, I saw the seedlings starting to sprout out about three days ago. So I waited a few days to see whether I was going to get some better germination. And there's plenty of seeds germinating here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting them into their final destination. I've got this planter that is ready and set up for the winter. And so all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing the soil and kind of just sprinkling it over in a row this way and the other nice thing about this method is that the seedlings are not as crowded together as they might be if I had started them directly from from seeds because the seeds it's very difficult to keep the spacing and what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be covering them up with some some peat moss and perlite mix just to give them a light, damp cover to help with their continued germination. It has been two weeks exactly since I planted these carrot seedlings and I want to show you the final result of how they have been sprouting and growing. But first, let me tell you about the tool that I've spread on top of this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it actually helps keep some of the moisture in a little bit longer. And number two, it prevents any birds and other things from picking out at my young seedlings. So let's see what's under the cover. 
So as you can see, there are plenty of carrot seedlings that are sprouting. And look at that. What I really love about them is I don't have to go and thin them because they are more or less perfectly spaced. This works, this trick works. Uh, it also helps you save on carrot seeds since you don't have to thin them later on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And until next time, live green and love your greens. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And by the way, here's a little carrot seedling that I just thinned out from this bunch of I actually had volunteers growing and they are actually producing cute little carrots. Isn't that darling?